Generally, to be appealable, a court order must be final. The United States Supreme Court has defined a final order as one that, quote, ends the litigation on the merits and leaves nothing for the court to do but execute the judgment, unquote. However, there are a few exceptions to this rule of finality, including Federal Rule of Civil Procedure 54B and Section 1292 of Title 28 of the United States Code. In the 1976 case Liberty Mutual Insurance Company v. Wetzel, the court considered the appealability of a court order that failed to grant the plaintiffs any relief. In 1976, Liberty Mutual Insurance Company's internal policy was to terminate female employees who didn't return to work within three months of giving birth. Also, Liberty Mutual denied disability benefits to female employees for disabilities related to pregnancy or childbirth. Subsequently, a group of female employees, including Sandra Wetzel, sued Liberty Mutual in the United States District Court for the Western District of Pennsylvania, alleging violations of Title VII of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Specifically, the group claimed that Liberty Mutual's policies discriminated against female employees of the company. Additionally, the group sought injunctive relief, damages, costs, and attorney's fees based on the claim. Following discovery, the group moved for partial summary judgment on the issue of liability. The district court granted the group's motion, concluding that Liberty Mutual's policies violated Title VII. However, the district court didn't grant the group any of its requested relief. Liberty Mutual then filed a motion for reconsideration, which the district court denied. In denying the motion, the district court issued an amended order stating that injunctive relief would be withheld because of Liberty Mutual's forthcoming appeal on the issue of liability. Subsequently, Liberty Mutual appealed to the United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit, which affirmed. The United States Supreme Court then granted cert.